name's Peter Sidwell. I live, work and cook here in the beautiful Lake District National Park. It is a chef's dream to cook in this area, full of amazing ingredients. You know, I never fail to come up with something incredible to cook and it's always rooted in Cumbria and something I find right here. Now I've got a stunning piece of local lamb here. It's probably come from these fells over here. It is absolutely incredible in quality and it is the backbone of the Lake District. Everywhere you go, you see sheep. Um, so I want to show you a great way to cook it, nice and simple. But first I've got to take this bit here. This is the rack of lamb, but this is, you know, it hasn't all been trimmed up and portioned out. So I've been to the butchers at my local farm shop and I've got them to cut me this beautiful piece. It's a bit of a treat. It's not the cheapest cut, but it's a nice treat. So I need to get that piece out there. Do you see that? That is what they call the cannon or the eye of a rack of lamb. That's the piece I want. So I'm going to use a sharp knife and I'm just going to cut against the bone. Okay, so whenever you're butching, always cut against the bone. And be really careful to make sure that you don't cut into that eye of meat. There we go. We're there. There. Now, this is sinew. This will not render and go crispy and melt in the pan. So we need to get rid of it, okay? So knife underneath and just cut away, and then lift it up and then just cut and hold it quite tight. And then just use your knife to cut away the sinew. I've got my, my cannon of lamb, this lovely, the eye out of the rack of lamb. We've taken it off the bone, it's all trimmed up and ready. I want to add some flavors. Got a non-stick pan getting really, really hot. And then some rosemary, it is, it is just made for lamb. It is a beautiful combination. So we've got some rosemary there. I've got some fresh thyme. Pick these out of the garden. And then a clove of garlic. All these three flavors will work incredibly well with lamb. And they will just take it up to the next level. So just peel that. This is, this is like building foundations of flavors. So, just chop there. Chop the garlic up, give it a head start. And then just push it together with the herbs. And we're just gonna make a lovely sort of rub, really, that will just go onto the lamp. Smells already are incredible. For me, this is, um, this is Lake District cooking at its best. Out in the open, looking across to Crummock Water, the sun is shining, and I've got some beautiful ingredients to work with. I really, really have. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the lamb, just put it there on the side, and then take the herbs and the garlic and just sprinkle them on the top and kind of pat them down, turn it over and do the same again. We're going to get all that flavour, just kind of roll it around and look at that. We've got a beautiful coating now of just incredible flavours that lamb loves. So plenty of salt onto there on both sides. This will help really crisp it up. When you add salt, it draws the moisture out which allows it to caramelise and that's when you get that beautiful golden crisp flavour. Some black pepper, freshly milled straight over the top as well. Turn it over, do the same again. So all the flavor is going in at the beginning. And then any flavor on this chopping board here, any salt, pepper, herbs that we've lost or has come off, just pick it all up. Don't waste it. Do not waste it. Right, so our non-stick pan's getting really, really hot. So I'm gonna add some oil onto the meat before it goes into the pan. So a good drizzle. And then turn it over and do the same again. You could do all this in advance if you wanted. Get it all ready. And then pop it in the fridge until you need it. Okay. But it's pretty quick. So, hot pan. So we should hear a lovely sizzle. And that is what you want to hear every time. So fingers crossed. Okay. So nice and gently into the pan. 
and you should smell that rosemary instantly. As soon as it hits the pan, I get that aroma of fresh herbs and garlic. It's an incredible smell, it really is. Just add a touch of oil in there as well, just to get the whole thing going. There we go. And I'm not gonna touch that for five minutes. And I'll flip it over and do maybe do two or three minutes on the next side and then I'll rest it for five minutes so that when it's come out of the pan, it's like really, really hot. And when it comes out of the pan, it's just gonna relax and it'll become incredibly tender. It's really worth that wait if you can manage it. I'm gonna let that lamb cook for about five minutes on one side, three minutes on the other side, and then let it rest. That'd be for three or four minutes. It'll become really juicy and tender. Flip this board over. Okay, and we're gonna make a really beautiful salsa verde type sauce. Um, with a bit of Cumberland mustard, fresh herbs, a bit of damson vinegar, it'd be really, really nice. So, I have got loads of parsley and fresh mint here. Just put it into a big bundle and then just chop it as fine as you can. This is gonna be like, this is gonna replace your mint sauce. But it, believe me, it's got way more flavour than mint sauce. So, good chop. Okay, let's put that all to one side, just for a second. Okay. Okay. Right. Piece of garlic, oh, one clove should be fine to make this. And then we're gonna chop that nice and fine. This is really good because we can just do all this while the lamb is cooking. Okay, we'll pop that to one side. Some capers. There we go. Definitely a good combo of flavours now. So just run your knife through them. If you want, you can chuck all this in a food processor and just whiz it up if you want, but I quite like to do it by hand because it just means you get lots of textures in there. Okay. Right, so to make the sauce, we need some good mustard. So I've got like a Dijon style mustard here. A couple of tablespoons. There we go. And then I want some damson vinegar, Lake District through and through. There we go. About two tablespoons of that. And then I want some rapeseed oil. So it's kind of like a dressing. Add your vinegar, add your oil, touch your mustard. There we go. So three times as much oil to vinegar. And then we're gonna add in our capers and our garlic and all our herbs now all in okay there we go give it a good stir right I'm just gonna have a look and see if this lamb is ready to turn over oh it is I haven't touched the lamb at all for four minutes all I'm gonna do is just turn it over okay there we go look at that because I haven't messed about with it, I haven't fiddled with it or anything like that, it's beautiful and caramelised. I'm going to add a knob of butter to it now as well, which will help richen it up and give it that lovely sort of richness. And I'm just going to pop that on there and that will just melt. We're not going to eat it, it just kind of acts as, as a, it just sort of richens the whole pan up, brings all the flavours together and it'll just gently melt through there. If I just push that over to one side and that'll just oh it'll be incredible I promise so I'm gonna mix the rest of this together this is a really good sauce just for just for any kind of meat any barbecue and anything like that anything that's kind of rich and meaty it works greatly I even like it on fresh pasta really quick simple supper some salsa verde some tomatoes pasta nine minutes done beautiful 
So I'm going to season this. Good bit of salt. Now you could add you could add anchovy sticks if you wanted, but I'm not today. I'm just going to add in a good amount of salt and some pepper, and this will work beautifully with the lamb. Okay, so give it a really good stir. Make sure the oil, the vinegar, all the capers and garlic are mixed through with the herbs. And that's it, just pop it to one side, that is ready. And that will sit in the fridge happily for a week. If you were going to make it, make extra. Okay, now I've got some beautiful fresh tomatoes. These are beautiful summer heritage tomatoes grown in Cumbria. You know, you mightn't expect it, but we can grow a few things that haven't got legs. So, I'm just going to chop these up into little pieces. And we're just going to make a really beautiful summer tomato salad to go with this lamb and this salsa verde. So all kinds of different tomatoes, chop them different shapes, do as you like really. We've got some beautiful orange ones here, we've got some tiger ones, green, San Mizano style tomatoes. I love these. We use them in the restaurant all the time when they're available. And the guys just send me whatever's right. So we always get different ones every day. You never get the same, which I really like. Okay. So what I'm going to do before I actually put these in a bowl, I'm going to season them up. So a little bit of salt on the tomatoes there, not much, touch. Some black pepper. There we go. Right, and then I've got a bowl here. So just straight in the bowl, you look incredible. Okay, so just to give this a really good pump, let's just give them a stir. Okay, some red onion, nice sweet mild red onion. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is slice it super thin, because you don't want massive chunks. You want it really nice and thin and delicate. So take your time. Okay, half an onion should be fine. And then just break them up. Make sure that when you put that in the salad, they're then really, really thin. Okay, break them up. Nothing worse than massive chunks. Okay, so we'll take this and we'll just drop it in. This for me is really exciting, modern, fresh flavours that are all coming out of the Lake District or in the area. And I think for me that is the way forward with local food. It's not always about the old school traditional dishes, which don't get me wrong, have their place. It's the new, modern, fresh dishes that are inspired by everything we've ever seen but are rooted right here in the Lake District. Oh, touch of vinegar on there, just a little splash, just almost like a dressing. Okay, touch of oil, not a lot. We've got some on the salsa verde. There we go. So I'm just gonna mix this through. So now we've just got a really beautiful, fresh summer salad. Okay, let's have a look at this lamb. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So we are almost ready to serve up. So all I'm gonna do is deglaze, and it's a French term. All it means is adding some kind of liquid to the frying pan that you've fried things in, and it kind of boils and bubbles up, but it brings all flavors out of the pan. It's incredible, it's worth doing. Anything that you fry off, deglaze with a little bit of vinegar, touch of wine, even a bit of water, and it'll make all the difference, I promise you. And you can hear it sizzle. And you can see it bringing up all the little caramelized gnarly bits off the pan. And then what I'm gonna do with, with the spoon is just kind of move that about to make sure that all the flavors get mixed together, okay? So I'm gonna lift that out to rest and just pop it on there, okay? And look at that. That is all flavour. I'm not going to waste that. I'm going to spoon that over the lamb when it's ready. Okay, so I'm going to plate it up. Okay, so for me this dish is beautiful, it's simple, 
just get a good spoonful. Get all the tomatoes, get a little bit of everything. There we go, beautiful, amazing. The mouth is watering right now. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of this salsa verde and just sit it on top. And then I'm gonna take some more and just dot it around. This is summertime Lake District food, this. It really is, it's fresh, it's exciting, full of flavor. And then I'm gonna take this lamb and I'm just gonna cut and carve it. Wow. Look, that's how you want it to be. Pink in the middle, beautiful. Okay, so I'm just gonna take three or four pieces. There we go. And I'm just gonna sit those bang on top. Look at that. And then take some of these lovely cooking juices and just spread it over the top. That is flavour you can't buy. There you go. That is a beautiful plate of summertime Lake District lamb, fresh tomatoes and a salsa verde. I hope you've enjoyed my recipes. I know I've absolutely loved getting out and about in this wonderful landscape. Local produce for me is my absolute driving passion. The food that's created around me in this area. And that's why I want to back the Lake District's bid for World Heritage status.